All right, welcome to Strider Tree Gear. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite pieces of rigging kit, the Ultra Sling. All right, so the notch, uh, this one, I've got a notch X rigging ring. Um, they make these in a few different sizes. Usu most of my slings have bigger ones. This is kind of a smaller, lighter duty one, uh, but they make, they come in all shapes and sizes. And I wanna show you why I love them. So number one, there's no knots involved. Every time I use this, uh, none of my groundies have to learn any new knots. I don't have to focus on any new knots. There's a couple ways to set it up. So if I'm gonna say, let's just say I wanna create an anchor from a tree, a redirect. You know, we're gonna do some pulling um, and I wanna set a, an anchor on a different tree. Well, what I do is I put the whole rope, choke it off through the ring. Now this allows there to be no rope on rope friction, this whole system. So I can actually count on 100% of the strength of this rope to, to support my, uh, my anchor here. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll put a pulley in right here and I'll just demonstrate that real quick. So here I've got my favorite ISC, uh, pulleys, blocks, snatch blocks, whatever you want to call it. I'll open it up, stick it in one of those loops. Boom, done. No knots, 100% the strength of the rope, and I've got a redirect. Now, sometimes it's not so much about setting a pulley or an anchor. Sometimes I want to actually use, or if I don't have that, sometimes I want to actually use the ring to rig on. So instead what you can do is I can actually put the whole ring through one of those loops and now I can rig on this ring. So a lot of the times when I'm up in the tree and I'm setting an anchor to rig from, this is how I'll do it. I'll choke it off. Now I have rope on rope contact here, so it's not quite as uh, bomber, as they would say in the mountain climbing world, as, as it would be if it was through the ring, but it's still really solid. It's choked off, it's not going anywhere, it doesn't require any knots. So on a situation like this, I'll throw the tail up and over something else, and I'll run my rigging rope just right through that ring. Now I've got a video um, that we'll throw a little link in the description where I talk about the difference between using a ring and using a snatch block in rigging. Most of the time when I'm rigging from a top tie, I like I prefer a ring because I want a little bit of friction. But this gives me this nice frictionless surface for rigging from, or not, or reduced friction, very consistent friction. Um, it's better than running it over the bark or a natural crotch, so. So another way I like to use these things is in a situation where it's called double whip tackle. Um, and it's when I'm rigging down big chunks, big pieces, and I don't trust my rope enough to catch the dynamic load of a piece dropping on one length of rope. So it doubles up the length of rope um, that catches the piece. It gives me a two to one uh, mechanical advantage on catching that piece. So in this case, I need two of these guys. And so what I've got, so I take my rope coming up from the ground, my rigging rope. This is where my face cut's gonna be, right in between these two pieces, or these two rigging uh, rings. I'm gonna go through that one, I'm up through the bottom one. And then I'm gonna take this free end and I'm gonna tie it back around the base, or around the top of the, of the standing stub. And I'm gonna put a little bowing on it or running bowing. So if you come over here and take a look at this a little closer, you kind of see what's going on. What happens is this piece is down around the porter wrap around the base of the tree. And as this top part falls off, it's caught in between both legs of this rope. And now this leg has a two to one to catch this one and it's through two friction points here in the port wrap around the bottom, so it gives you really nice control over catching a, what would be a really heavy piece of wood. And of course, this Omni Sling chokes it off really nicely, and I'm not worried about it flying out. So it's another way I like to use these things. They've got endless uses. They're fantastic pieces of equipment. They're cheap, they're durable, they don't have any moving parts, they're easy to inspect. Um, I highly recommend these for all sorts of rigging uses. 
So those of you in the know, in the arborist community know that um, the X rigging rings were created by the username, the X man um, from the tree buzz boards. And he, he brought these over. They're originally used in sailing and he was the one who sort of repurposed them for use in the tree industry a number of years back. And he's responsible and he's partnered with Cheryl Tree to build to bring you the notch ones. And these ones have the best coating to them. They're the most durable. The, the abrasion testing has shown that these are by far the highest quality. Now all gear and a few others have made knockoffs. Um, and unfortunately this is the only one I had access to in my local arb shop, but I do want to recommend the X-Ring specifically if you're exploring options. Thanks for joining me here at Strider Tree Gear. Um, you've seen some of my favorite hardware. If there's pieces of kit that you guys really love, let me know in the comments. If there's gear that you'd like me to review or tips or techniques that you want to know more about, let me know. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you guys next week.